settle down, or was it just a couple of pitches that got away from uh, You know, in talking with Ray, and I think he was just maybe early in the game, leaving the rubber a little bit early, trying to quite get the ball down as, as much as he would have wanted to. I don't think uh, the balls were ever center cut by any means, but uh, I thought he made some adjustments as he got uh, deeper into the game where he got much better rhythm, much better tempo, much better location, uh, specifically the last three innings. So when you have a guy, I mean, I think uh, Albert came in batting like 570 or something career against Paul. When you get over in the other side, the 36 at bats, I mean, is that, does, can that get into a guy's head after a while? I mean, when he has that much success against you? I mean, well, I think it all depends on the guy. Um, I think the pitchers are aware of guys that have had success. Um, I think we all know you make good pitches, you get good hitters out mo most of the time. Albert's probably got that kind of batting average against a few guys in the league. Um, and he's a guy that you know when you get up there that you know you, know, you do have that understanding. You need to be sharp, uh, especially if he's in a good place with a bat. You, you've got to get the ball exactly where you want it. Um, any room for error, and not necessarily always a room for error. He's going to put the barrel on, he's gonna, and he can ride it. He can ride it out of the ballpark. He can strike it, pull it. He can move it around. He can, he can swear up a, a, lot of, a lot of different pitches. So. I don't know if it's specifically that it's in Paul's head, but uh, you know he was able to respond a third at bat and get him to roll over a ball, which is something he's got to keep battling.